everyone and a very warm welcome to WH Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have learned that what all kinds of websites are there which have multiple pages. In our today's session, we are going to talk about how to deal with such kind of websites. So we will be learning that how we can deal with such kinds of websites. Also, we will be learning how we can extract the data. So in our part one, we will be working with the URLs that how we can move to the next page URL using Beautiful Soup and Request Library. So let's get started. So if you remember in our last session, we were viewing websites like Airbnb and Flipkart. If I open Flipkart right now uh, over here, if I go to my first page, let me just scroll down and go to my first page. So this is how my first page looks like and the similar goes for the second page. Now here we will not go to the second page. Instead, we will use the next button for extracting the URLs. Also, we will be using this next button only. So first of all, let's get the URL of this page and copy it. All you need to understand is that if I right click on it and inspect it, also I'll do one thing. I'll open this uh, link in the new page. So open link in new tab. And if I'll scroll down, I guess this is the link of our second page. Yes, this is the link of our second page. Now, if I talk about the next button here, okay. So let me just go to our navigation bar. And let's go to our next button here. As you can see, the next button over here has the link of page 2. And if you don't believe me, let me just click on this. So as soon as I click on this, you can see over here again, we have the second page. The new link has opened that has the second page. If I inspect this and go to the next button, it will give me the link of the third page. So let's inspect it. Let's go to the navigation bar. And let's click on the next button and uh, related to it, we have this link here. And if I click on this link, we will be directed to the next page that is page number three. So what we will be using, we will be using this next button to move to our next page. We will be using the URL of this button to move to our next page and extract the data from this. First of all, in this video, let's learn that how we can move to different pages using Python. For this, all we need to do is we'll go back to our Python program. Over here, we may write down import requests and from BS4 import beautiful soup. Once we are done with this, let's take the request from the page. So R is equals to requests dot get and I'll also pass the URL here. So URL is equals to inside the double quotes. Let's go back here and we'll be taking the URL of our page one. So let's copy this URL from here and let's go back to our code. Now let me paste it. So this is the URL of our page one. Once we are done with this, we need to pass this URL inside. And here we will be writing print R. Let's wait for the response. Let's see what is the status code. So as soon as I run it, the response is 200. That means we can obtain the HTML of the page and we can scrap the data. Now, once we are done with this, we'll write soup is equals to beautiful soup. And inside this, we'll pass our dot text and we'll deal the file in the X LXML format. Okay, let's print the soup here. And if I print it, the output which I'll get here would be the link. Uh, that means the code for the whole page. But we don't need the whole page right now. What do we need? We need the link as of now. So let's do one thing. Let's remove this from here and let's go to the link. Uh, let's go for the link here. So for the link, what we know is that the link exists in the next page. That means in the next button. That means if we click the next button, it will give us the link of that page. So from this next button, we need to obtain the href of this button. That means the link from this button. To obtain the link from this button, all I need to do is click on this navigation bar. Let's go to the next. We can over here see that it's an A tag and the class over here is something like this. So let's copy this and let's go back here. Now what I'll do, I'll write. Uh, link is equals to or next page link is equals to for next page I'll be writing NP NP is equals to soup we need to find this a tag and we need to pass the class so class underscore is equals to here we will be passing the class and what do we need to obtain from here is the uh, we need to find the href so let's get the href and let's print this next page. Whatever we are getting from this, let's print it over here. Okay. 
so as soon as i run it let's see what are we obtaining over here see you can see that we have got a link over here and let's copy this link let's copy this link and actually it's a huge link so okay let's do one thing it's going to select everything so okay i'll just go towards the end of the page from here i'll just start copying and quickly come to the starting okay so let's copy this and let's open our browser in our new page let's paste this data and let's enter it so if i enter this you can see i'm not getting the second page of our flip card why am i not getting the second page of this flip card because if i go over here and check the link in the link you will see it's written slash search while on the top of every link you will see that in front of search slash search we have the host name over here so all we need to do is copy this host name from here let's copy the host name come back to our program and here with the next page so what we will be doing we will be creating a new variable called as complete next page in this complete next page we will pass this string and we'll remove the slash plus what we will be joining we will be joining our next page string over here and now let's print c and p and let's see what output we'll get so as soon as i again run it you can now see that the text has been highlighted over here why because now it's a perfect link and as soon as i click on it i'll get the url of the next page that is our page number 2 and if we scroll down also over here to see if it is page number 2 or not you can see it's the page number 2 so this is how you can obtain the link of the next page using this next button okay now once we are done with this what do we need to do is we need to now make this this new url as the url uh, on which we want to take the request and then again we can write this soup beautiful soup and everything again so what i'll do the new url here would be so url is equals to cnp inside the request again i'll write requests dot get because now this is the url of our new page and again we need to find the soup that means we need to find the html of this page and again we need to go to the next button because if here we come over here and if i inspect it and again if i want to go to the next button i need to inspect it go to the next button and i'll do this i need to do the same procedure so the same thing we will be doing here that here we will be going to the next page for next page we will be passing the url here and again soup is equals to beautiful soup r dot text comma will be dealing in lxml let's pass this inside a loop so while true call on now let's run and see that what outputs we are getting every time we run it so i'll just tell you uh, before i run it that we'll be getting a small not error exactly but small problem over here what this problem would be let's have a look on that so as soon as i run it i am getting the links so that means uh, with the help of while true it is going to the different different links it's going to the different different page like from one it is going to two then it's extracting the um html of that page and going to the next button then again we have the url of page number 3 we will extract the soup of that page and we will be going to the next button but here if i scroll towards the right what you will see is that it is moving between page 2 1 2 1 2 1 why it is happening over here is because this is only possible in the cases where we have different links for different pages but in the case of flip cart what will happen over here is you will, what you will notice here is on the top that if i go towards the end of this url the urls of all the pages are same like if i show this to you let me increase the size so you will what you will notice is that the urls of all the pages are same only a string has been attached over here like 1 2 3 4 for page 1 we have one in the end for page 2 we have 2 in the end for page 3 we have 3 in the end for page 4 we have 4 in the end so this is how it is working and for scrapping the data and for moving for moving to different different urls also what we need to do we need to use a for loop which will keep our whole link as same but it will change the number in the end over here so for that we will be using a for loop how we will be using this for loop is very simple let's remove this for now because we don't need it right now but yes this will definitely work in the cases of pages which have different urls for different pages and that we will be covering in our project as well okay so here 
all we need to do is we will be using a for loop here for for loop i'll be using a for loop on the top let's remove this while true as well let's put it back in its position and let's use a for loop that for i in range so now if you want to get the data if you want to obtain the data of let's say 10 pages 20 pages all you need to do is write from one colon suppose i need to obtain the data not colon but actually comma suppose if i want to obtain the data of 10 pages or 11 pages i'll be writing 11 so for that because of that i'll be getting the uh, url of 10 pages let's put this everything inside the for loop also what do i need to change is we will be using this we will be giving here this i as a string so in the end let's remove this one let's put a plus sign and in the string we'll be giving our i okay and now let's run and see what output we are getting so as soon as i now run it we will start getting the urls and responses as well but if i go towards the end now you will notice that it's going from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now what is why this 2 is coming over here 2 and 1 is coming over here again is that we need to start this from 2 instead of 1 so now if i run it again we will be getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 why 9 because it's starting from 2 here and it is giving me 10 pages so this is how i'm getting all the pages over here so i hope guys that you have no doubts and no questions on how we are moving to different pages here all we need to do is use a for loop we need to understand that what is there inside the link every link will be different and we need to understand the patterns over here so in this pattern as you can see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 maybe in airbnb if i search this one let's inspect this one so i'll right click over here and inspect it let me just uh, scroll it back let me make it a little smaller and if i scroll down and go to our navigation bar click somewhere here so here you can see we do not have the similar links we do not have any such strings also every link is different to each other so because this is different in that case what would happen in that case we will be using this so in this case we will not be using the for loop and we will only be using the while loop here so i hope you guys have no doubts and no questions in what we have learned now this session so as of now we have learned that how we can move to different pages but now in our next session we will be learning that how we can scrap the data from first page move to the next page then scrap the data from the second page then move to the next page and we can keep doing the same thing so i hope you guys have no doubts in the question so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you